see everybody here tonight. We thank you for coming. This could be a meeting that would kick off Rockfish for next year's to come. At least we've got a crowd of people here to listen about it anyway. So whatever we come up with or whatever we talk about, we hope it's interesting to you. Some of our board members are, I don't know. Probably sleep. Even taking a nap or whatever. I do know they're not here. But anyway, we'll do what we need to. Uh, we do welcome you tonight. And with this time, if you stand, we'd have the application, please. Father, we come tonight thanking you for your love and your mercy and how you watch out and look over us as days go along. Thank you for what you do that we're not even aware of, Lord, but we also thank you for your love that can only come from you. And as we have our meeting tonight, Lord, we pray you'll be here. Things will honor you as we go along. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's have a place to the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, I say thank you, and I'm going to turn it over to uh, Larry here with uh, some information that he might have for us here. Well, good evening. It's good to be back. Uh, to have our meeting every third Tuesday night here at Rockfish. A lot of things are going on, but before we go any further, I'd like to welcome our special guest. Thank you for coming tonight. Uh, we don't have a lot on the agenda, but it's still very important that we have our meeting. And the things that we do bring up on the agenda is very important to the community. You need to know what's going on. So I'd like to update you first of all on our the project that DOT is working on down here at the end of Lindsay and Rockfish. They're still doing some surveying. They're still trying to decide what they're going to do there. So we're just working at their leisure. Or it's going to happen when they get through doing what they're doing. Uh, we still have a, a bad problem with traffic coming, going. Early in the morning, traffic is very bad down here at Rockfish. So uh, whenever the state finishes doing what they're going to do, that's when they'll begin to put the stoplight and everything up here, a turn lane, and it, they said it should be anywhere from three to six months. So we'll just wait and see what's going to happen. That's all we're going to do, just have a waiting game. Next is we'll go into uh, other projects that's going on. We know that we've got the lights here. We've got the lights at Davis's Bridge. I've talked to some folks at Davis's Bridge that's coming out of Rockfish. The Methodist camp down there, and they say it's kind of made it a little easier for them to get out and in. So that's a good thing. But we still have a combustion of traffic out here. So hopefully this might solve the problem, but eventually it will be solved with the loop that's going to come around. And according to officials, that project was not scheduled before 2029, but that project can be bumped back within the next year and a half or two years. It's all in the officials' hands. So we don't have no control of that. So we just have to go along with what they're doing. Next thing is, it's always a problem. We have a lot of vandalism in Rockfish. Just last week, there was four people that were arrested uh, for breaking in cars. Since our last meeting, we've had one shooting, one killed. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things going on in Rockfish. You know, those of us that's been here for all our life, we never thought that this would happen. But yes, it's upon us. Old gospel song says that time has made a change. And there is a change in our community. And if you don't believe it, you ask this man. We were just talking about things that they used to do when they Teenagers. That was day before yesterday, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, there, there is a lot of change. Not only change in Rockfish, but there's a lot of changes going on in Hope County, period. I mean, we're looking at 60,000 plus. 60,000 plus. And a lot of people are coming out of Cumberland, coming into Hope. A lot of people are leaving Hope and going elsewhere. But we're proud of our new community. 
our new community. Uh, things, are, things are growing. Uh, hopefully within the next couple of months with the officials working on this, the sewer will be coming our way. And we expect that when the sewer arrives in Rockfish that things are really going to take off and go booming. We're looking for that. So it's just a matter of time when all that happens. Uh, the vandalism continues. I know for a fact that uh, there's extra deputies that's, that's on the road at night time. They're patrolling all times of night. Uh, there's unmarked cars. The deputies, you don't know who they are. They're floating around in the community. We still have a slight problem of uh, things going on at the park after hours. And that's in the process of being took care of. And uh, I've been assured that that project is at hand. It won't be long. So, you know, uh, people say, well, here's the same old thing when we come to the meeting. Well, yes, yeah, the same old thing. The thing about it is crime continues. A lot of mischief. Not only in Rockfish, but all over, everywhere. Cumberland County, there's crime everywhere. So, you know, we've got a lot to uh, be grateful for. A lot of building going on. And we can't control that building. I will say this tonight. I'm very grateful to whomever was responsible, they took an eyesore away from our community with the store. And thanks to the folks that agreed for the store to be taken down, it looks a whole lot better. Just this past, between Friday morning and Saturday morning, somebody went up there and stomped the light switch, broke the switch to the lights up at the sign. I had the power run to that eight years ago. In eight years, we've had two vandalisms. So, you know, they, uh, they think they're trying to be funny about uh, destroying what you're trying to make the community better. That sign was put up there, I think, in 1992 by the Rockfish Homemakers in memory of Miss Treva Koontz. And her daughter, Miss Ellen Kate Koontz Parker, was the last one left, and she just passed away just a couple of weeks ago. And I know that she was all about the history along with Claudine Brock. They're about history of rockfish. And so we're hoping that we can get some stuff from their family that will bring us up to more date about the history of rockfish. But, you know, back to the vandalism, I wish people wouldn't do that. You know, A&R Railroad has given us permission to run the power there. And I made a deal with them. I said, if y'all let us hook up power, I'll keep the lot clean. Part of the time I mow it, part of the time I pay somebody to mow it, part of the time I drive my ride along more two and a half miles from my house to mow the grass. Somebody said, Larry, you're holding up traffic. <laughs> well, what I do is I go back down Philip High Church Road and the traffic still follow me. But it's a lot of fun to be able to do things for your community. You take a lot of pride in your community. And we've come a long way from what it was years ago. Uh, we've got a lot of good things going on. Our fire department is up to date. They're doing a good job down there. Appreciate what they do. We've got the sheriff's annex that uh, we've got a watch commander, something that's never happened before, that uh, floats throughout the county. Nobody knows when they're going to be around, but they're down there to answer any questions that need to be answered. Any paperwork that you need, you don't have to go to Rayford to pick it up. You can go right down there to the annex at the fire station and get your paperwork, gun permits, things of that nature. So they've made it convenient for the people of Rockfish. wonder how the people of Rockfish feel about that. I think it's a good thing. So I'm very grateful for what they're doing. So right now, I think I've talked too much. Uh, we forgot to get a treasure's report. We need to let you talk. Tell us how much money. I was going to do that back. All right. Let, <laughs> let, let, let's do that at the end. So you want me to do, do it again. Okay, tonight we do have some political friends with us. We thank you for coming. We appreciate what you're doing. We're hoping that the good Lord will bless you as you strive to make things better for Hope County. But you might want to mark these dates down. September the 29th, 7 o'clock, here. You'll have a meet and greet. October the 27th, on a Thursday, both nights, 
October the 27th, 7 o'clock, another meet and greet. And we're going to do something different this time. And you won't find out what it is until you arrive. It's going to be mighty different. I know we've got 10 people running for the Board of Education. We've got six people running for three seats to lead this county. We're going to do something different that's probably going to ask people in Hook County, well, what are they going to do at Rockfish? Well, when you come in that night, trust me, it's going to be different from any debate that you've ever had. It's going to be good. Uh, I want to applaud those that participated in the last debates. Uh, it really gave our community a wake-up call because so many people go to the polls and they take the ballots and they go back there and they pull that curtain and mark it and drop it in the box and walk out. That's not right. You need to know. You need to know who you're voting for. You need to put a, a, a name with a face. You need to know. You need to talk to the individual person. Fill them out. Look at them straight in the eyes. Get them to tell you something. That's what people are looking for. I think you're going to find that you're going to, in Hope County, that you're going to find a lot of people they want to know. It's all about transparency. And people want to know what's going on. Those days of going into the polls and telling them who you are and what party you're with, I want to vote. They give you, you go back there and mark a ballot and drop it in. You don't pay a bit of attention to what you do. You just mark a name. But what you're doing, you're agreeing with every name or trusting every name that you want. You need to know who you're marking. You need to know all about them. You need to know where they're standing. So, the 29th, which will be the day that we put out the signs in Hook County, for the Board of Education, for the County Commissioners, and for the Sheriff. Now, right now, you can put signs all you want in somebody's yard. But on the side of the road, they can't go to the 29th of September. So that's a good day for them to, to come down and do the first meet and greet. Second one is the 27th meet and greet. And uh, it'll be different than the previous two. It'll be something that you haven't experienced even at J.W. Turbulent School. Because it's time that the people see who's running against the incumbents, the transparency from both sides. It's time that we see that. Because this election, this election is one of the most important elections that will ever be coming up in Hope County. Out of the Board of Education is just as important as the commissioners and as the chair. So keep that in mind. Think about transparency and think about what that means to you. So, uh, Carlos, you got anything you want to bring up? Um, you want this microphone? You're going to sing a song. <laughs> anyway, no, I, 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 get it. I guess so. People in the back. Well, real quick, I like to stand up. Two things. One of the things is, I think it's, it's kind of sad that we can't fill up this room. Because we, we get people complaining within the community out this way. They complain, complain, complain. But then we have a meeting where they can come present stuff and do things. They don't show up. So nine times out of ten, you have five or six or 15 people doing something for a community of how many thousand people out here right now. We need to not only just come here, we need to start telling our friends and say, hey, not just telling them. The one of the questions you should ask them is, why are you not coming? And let them give us an answer, give you an answer. And, and respond to them and say, hey, look, you may not think that this board is doing anything or your presence is not, don't mean anything, but a lot of stuff that got done since this board got created. And I'm going to tell you something, this board hadn't been created 
and it was still before me. We wouldn't have these traffic lights. We wouldn't have all the stuff that's going on right now. Not just traffic lights, but like I said, building getting torn down, sheriff annex, certain things that are important to this community. But we got, we in the rockfish community got to start taking pride. We can't have these gentlemen right here to keep doing everything. And, I, and I'm just going to keep it real. One day they're going to die. We all are. But one day, I'm just, that's life. That's, that's a fact. But one day they're not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. So what does that leave the community? What's going to happen is it's going to go backwards. All the progress that's being put forward is going to fall by the wayside because nobody's going to step up to the plate and say, hey, I want to do this. So that's one of the things I got. Second thing that I got is where the gamma house, where the slot machine or gamma house used to be right down the corner, where the truck's now parked. To me, we take one eyesore down, now we get another one pops up. You know, and to me, eventually, if we start letting one or two big trucks park there, have a truck stop. Right, son, like you say, you're going to have a truck stop right there. And also what that does is they're going to big mud puddles and everything going to be right there. And then not, not only that, you got a whole bunch of vehicles there. What comes along with that? Prostitution. All of that type of stuff comes along with that. So that's one of the things I say we got to take pride in Rockfish. We have to take pride in Rockfish. So like I said, when you go home tonight and you look in the mirror, you are rockfish. If you're staying out here, and you're paying taxes out here, you have a home out here, when you look in the mirror tonight, remember, you are rockfish. Whether you want to believe it or not, you're here. Let's make this, this, let's make this a beautiful, thriving area. So when people, when businesses come out here, they don't see a slum. They see nice greenery, nice buildings, clean, paper picked up, and that makes people want to come do business out in Rockfish. And so that's one of the things that I have, um, and that's all I got, but I appreciate everybody that do come out, and I appreciate you all, because like I said, I just got back from Charlotte. I just got to move my son in, a college student in up to UNC Charlotte. As soon as I dropped off, as soon as I got home, I jumped, came right back here, because it's important to me. So. If I can do it, we all can do it. So, hey, encourage everybody. Like I said, because one thing I do, I do tell people, hey, you need to come to the meeting. And one of the questions that I always ask is, why are you not coming? So, let's keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Yes, I, just, I just want to add something to uh, what Carla said. If you can't make the meeting, it is live stream. That counts. If you have comments you want to say at the meeting, I'll relay them for you. So if you're just too busy, you got life is in the way, you get it. But it doesn't take anything to pull this social media page up on your phone and watch it while you're doing whatever else. Yeah, we thank Brian for that. He's uh, live streaming, and also if, if you if you want to uh, send the email that you're going to attend, you can do that too. We have that set up on the Rockfish Community Facebook page. So it's not like that uh, you don't know when the meeting is. It's the third Tuesday night of each month. Third Tuesday night. Thank you, Carlos. I appreciate that. And you know, it's very important that we attend this. I mean, some people say, well, why should I go? It don't concern me. Well, you stay in the Rockfish community. It's very important. And that falls to probably one of my last comments, and I'm not saying anything else. I'll turn it back to Mr. Brock. Uh, why should I vote? Why should I vote? Why? That's our constitutional right. 13.9% people voted in Hope County. Where's the rest of them? I don't know. What was our tally down here, E.T.? I, I don't know. I don't know. It won't hide. But I'm telling you, and these, these political friends of ours that are here tonight, and they'll get an opportunity, and they're working, they'll get an opportunity to tell you why you need to vote. 
So, you know, we challenge everybody out there on Facebook that's watching tonight. Come to the meeting. I mean, where else are you going to go and get iced tea, blueberry muffins, pretzels? Where are you going to get that at? And peanuts, mostly. And peanuts. That's our favorite dish down here. So, you know, it's not like you're going to a county commissioner meeting and you're not, you don't get nothing. City council meeting, you don't get nothing. But you come to Rockfish, you are going to get some tea and a blueberry muffin and some pretzels and some barbecue potato chips and peanuts. Come on. So, and sometimes, you know, we'll spread and have some little finger foods back there, like pimento cheese sandwiches. But, you know, we're going to work towards that. It's going to get better. But I, I do challenge everybody tonight that's watching is, is to come out to the meeting. If you can't, stay tuned on the third Tuesday night of each month at 7 o'clock. Don, if you would, give us our minutes of our last meeting and our treasurer's report, please. Um, okay. The minutes from the last meeting, of course, was uh, the DOT doing their surveyings, um, houses being built, um, updating the park for the children. Some of the play area is kind of a little bit dangerous for the children, so they're having they, someone to look in that and again. It's just, they did. They did. They good. did. Then again, it's just, you know, the children. They did look into that. Good, good. And they're in the process of doing something about it. Good. And um, <coughs> vandalisms and the funds that we have is holding at 225. We got a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch it. Somebody be it. Looking out for us, but we're running over. I'm not right, proud of that. My cow of money was out there. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> anyway, again, we do thank you for coming tonight. We appreciate you. We hope as time goes along that this this people here will grow in numbers, and in turn, we will. We will see things start happening in the Rockies, Hope, and as well all over Hope County. That will be better for our community and better for our county. Our next meeting will be September the 20th at 7 o'clock. You don't want to miss that. And then Larry just mentioned the ones that we're going to have. The 29th of September meeting. and October the 27th. We'll do a flyer, and I'll have my wife to create it. Somebody can go in there and JPEG it, do what they need to do, and go to town. But we want to fill this place up. Because when y'all walk in, you're gonna be you're gonna be surprised. I must be gonna be myself too tomorrow okay. morning. <laughs> anyway, again, we do thank you for coming. We're looking forward to meeting with you the next go around. Anybody got a question? They got any question? Yes, sir. I've got two. Um, trash trucks that are private companies that are driving by, they've got open bay trailers that can throw trash in. They go by, it's gone blowing out. I've probably it's got a bunch of it off of Rockfish Road. And Rockfish Road, I live down there and it's loaded all the time. Is there any way of doing something about that? Well, actually, they're supposed to have a cover on that truck. What trash company is it? There's Rob's and OK. I think it's A-OK. 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 Rob's. There's, there's two of them. That Rob's is not doing it no more. No, not Rob. Rob's doing it. A-OK. A-OK have a truck without me. Yeah, I'm going to leave right here. Okay. When I see him over that every week, I'm picking up a record. Um, second question is, um, I'll leave on Myra down here, near Davis Bridge, out the way. Uh, I'm working my yard. I'm retired now. I hear a bunch of construction. I go around. I live in Mumford. I don't know where that is. They're building a two-lane road um, for the media. So I went down, I'm like, whoa, what's this all about? I went down to the planning board and asked them if there's a new subdivision or something like that going. They said, yes, can you show me about it? They said, no, it's, it's been approved, but there's, how do I get information about a new subdivision being two blocks away from the house? So you probably had to go to the county office on that video. Well, the planning board doesn't have any information other than saying it was approved. Where is it at now? Okay, if you know where Mumford is, at that Davis Bridge Road, okay, yeah. if you come up a block to Pittman Church, I guess it is, mm -hmm. it's the first main road to the right, and then right there, maybe a quarter mile in, 
heavy construction equipment. Or is that across from Belton's trailer park? <coughs> it's near there, but um, it's just I think it was just before that. No, that's, that's I know they've got a new subdivision coming on T.C. Jones Road. Okay. Uh, I think that's probably where he's talking about. T.C. Jones Road, up from Mumford Road there. Yeah. It's got to be the same way. I know they've got a new one there with a median in the middle of the well, way. Well, they are putting a median all in there. And all I hear is construction equipment all day long. So that's, we're growing and too I fast. And I understand, I understand that there's more coming yeah. down in that neck of the woods. There will be. There'll be more coming over here on Pittman Grove towards 401. There'll be much more coming over here across the block. This old school It's on the way. Yeah, house cool. after house after house. And that's why we're trying to keep this alive right here to keep newcomers and get them involved and kind of have, trying to kind of stay involved in what's going on around us here. It's kind of nice to know what's going on. It's, yes, sir. Can't get no information. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of tedious, but you can go back to the county commissioner meeting where that subdivision was approved and they'll have the plat attached to the agenda. It's all live. Yeah. Okay. Just go to the whole county board commissioner website. Now, that particular subdivision, I think, is 548 houses on sewer or on septic tank. They're going to have county water, but they're going to have septic tanks. And I believe it was in June, like okay. the third week of June. Okay. Start, just start there. Started. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Start probably the, yeah. I'd start at the beginning June, of June, yeah. but June or July is one of those meetings from that. 500 houses. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't want to.
Thank you, God. We're looking at that out of way. And let you know something back, Carol. We'll see what to say. Anyone else? You think we've got a young couple back there. I've never seen you before. How about y'all standing up and tell us who you are? Never seen you. Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm Rob Gordon. This beautiful young lady is my bride, Serena. We uh, just moved in here into service. Uh, we've been in Cur huh? Yeah, moved here a week ago. With, uh, came out of Korea for been over there for the last four years. So, uh, learning how to be Americans again, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've uh, just bought a place over in the River Bluff subdivision. Out. Well, we welcome you to Rockfish, and we applaud you for your service to our country. Yeah. Thank you. And then, as a as a transition, I'm Jeff Hoffman. I'm the executive director of the Army Marine Corps You're on the table with Don. She'll put them in the bank next week. Let's encourage. Let's tell everybody about the meeting. Third Tuesday night. We need to pack this place out. Yes, ma'am. Caspron, and I, I told you the last time that I was going to give you an update as to how much money we're actually spending uh, just on one uh, entity. 
and that's adding to the high school. And uh, we are at 78 plus million dollars to add to the high school. Okay? Uh, how we got to 78 is that if the uh, school district got a certain amount that would trigger the county commissioners to uh, give 28 million dollars. Out of those 20, uh, out of those uh, 78 million dollars, 10 million dollars is a buffer in case they make a mistake. And so, what we're getting from that amount, if it's uh, if it's final, we're going to get supposedly 35 rooms of English, uh, four, uh, four 17 of uh, math, and uh, four uh, rooms of Earth and Environment Science. Four uh, classrooms for biology and three for physical science. So this is it. This is just an addition to the high school, and they're trying to sell that to us to say we're getting a new high school. So to make it simple, I'm going to go ahead and add a garage to my house. So I'm actually getting a new house. That's what they're trying to tell us. We're not getting a new high school. It started with several uh, meetings ago. It started with, we're going to have all this money. We're going to have some projects, uh, HVAC for all the uh, schools that need it, renovations. But they're concentrating all this money on, uh, on adding to the uh, high school. So that's just uh, proof of thought. This is what our money is going to. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You bring that back the 29th of September. 29th of September to 27th of October. All of you that are running, you be here. We got 10 for the Board of Education. We're going to put y'all on one side, and the commissioners are beating. I'm not going to tell you where they're going. <coughs> I got it plain. It's going to be good. I think that night everybody in Rockfish should be out here because we're going to print some flyers and we're going to spread the word. And we're probably going to go, go down to the Baptist Church and see if they'll let us announce it. We need to get the people out. I mean, it's not what we do. I mean, we've got to have everybody if we want to move forward. And we've got to have transparency. Thank you. Yes, sir. We appreciate that information. Yes, sir. Anyone else have us any information we need to know about tonight before we go home? Thank you again for coming. We'll look forward to seeing you the next meeting. Yes, sir.